Hello, I'm Tony, um, and it's good to be here with you today. Today we're going to do some Qigong, and we're going to do it sitting down on a chair. This form of Qigong that we're going to do today is for um, people that have not been working out, people that may be recovering from illness, um, people who, that have lost muscle mass, that are are um, a little bit weaker than they would like to be, and um, we're hoping to be able to bring that energy back into the person and to teach them a little bit of Qigong and some skills that they can use at home. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just find a relaxed seated position and we're gonna take a, we're gonna start with what we call discovery. So we're gonna um, find our, find a, a relaxed position we're gonna take a breath in, and we're gonna take a breath out. Breathe in, and breathe out. Imagine when you breathe in, you're making space inside, and when you breathe out, you're releasing tension. So from here, we're gonna look up, and look down. Look up as far as comfortable. Don't go and do anything that's uncomfortable and look down. You'll feel a stretch in the back of your neck. Head back to center. Look to your right and look to your left. Look to your right past your shoulder and look to your left past your shoulder. Come back to center, drop your head, and begin to roll in circles. We'll do this three times. When you get to the bottom, switch directions. Okay, we're gonna have our head back forward. We're gonna begin rolling our shoulders backwards. We're gonna start small, and we're gonna increase in size with each rotation. And now we're gonna go forward, and the same thing. We're gonna increase in size each time we go around. From here, we're gonna have our arms float up, and we're gonna put our fingertips up, Fingertips down, fingertips up, down, and begin to roll your wrists backward and forward. Okay, hands back down. And we're gonna start our Qigong lesson now. So from here, we're gonna do what is called sending Qi to the four limbs. So here, we can take a deep we can take a breath in, and as we release, our hands come up, let our breath out. We make praying hands, our hands sink down, we breathe in, and when we breathe out, our hands come up. Breathe in, and breathe out. We're gonna to switch to the next movement, which is washing the gallbladder meridian. So from here, we're pulling in, breathing in. We frame our hands around our ears and push out, breathing out. You breathe in and you push out as you breathe out. So your breath will guide your movement, breathing in then breathe out. So the next move is golden eagle spreads wings to embrace child. We bring our arms up like a great eagle and then we bring them back in like we're hugging a precious child. Arms back up and down. 
up, breathing out, and breathing in. Breathe out, and breathe in. So here, we're gonna be lifting something here. We lift with our hands, and we push out up on top. So we come back down and we lift with our hands. We turn our hands over and press out. Again, lifting, breathing in. When we turn our hands over, we breathe out. And we breathe in and breathe out. So from here, keep your hands up. This is called descending from heaven. So we breathe in and let your hands fall. Be careful that you don't have anything that's in your way that you might hurt your hands on. So we're gonna breathe in and breathe out. Just letting your hands collapse. Breathe in and out. And from here, we're going to put one hand behind our back and we're going to take this hand and we're going to allow our waist to guide our hand. So we're going to come slightly lower and slightly higher. So breathing in and breathe out. Breathe in breathe out. So we're going to do the other arm, same thing. So we're going to breathe in and breathe out. Using your waist to turn your arm. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. So from here, we're going to do what's called yin yang palm. Our, our hands cross each other like they're on a car like two cars on the road and we're going to push up above our head and down below our tailbone and we're going to look slightly backward so we're going to come on the other side push up look back the other side breathing in and breathing out as you push out Breathe in and breathe out. So from here, we're going to do what we call silk wheeling. So we breathe out and we're, we're going to grab a piece of silk and breathe in, stretching that silk, arms turn, push out. Breathe in, turn the arms. Breathe out. Grab the silk, gently pull it, turning the arms, opening the hands, and pushing out. One more. Breathe in, turn, push out. So from here, you can rest your hands on your, your thighs. And with this hand, we're gonna gather behind us, come across and release. So we're gathering, we're coming across her stomach by the belly button, and then we're releasing, allowing the arm to rise, the hand to rise slightly, gathering and offering. So we breathe in here and we breathe out here. Breathe in, breathe out. We're gonna do the other side. You can rest your hand. Bring this one behind you. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Using your waist to guide your arm, twisting and untwisting. Twisting 
and untwisting. And do not do anything that is uncomfortable. We're gonna switch. So we're gonna imagine holding a big ball. So we're gonna turn the ball and we're gonna turn the ball. And so whenever we turn the ball, the top hand will get a little bit smaller on our right side. So we turn the ball, the right hand gets a little bit smaller. Turn the ball, the right hand gets a little, the ball gets a little smaller. So our ball is condensing. So we have this little ball of chi here. This is our energy. So we're gonna take this ball of chi and we're gonna put it right below our belly button. And you can breathe in, allow that chi to go inside your body to give you some extra energy to heal things that might hurt. And from here, we're gonna put our hands on our side we're gonna breathe in, expanding our chest. So you breathe in. And then when we let go, our arms fly in front of us, putting one finger at a time in front of us. Then we come into praying hands, drop your arms. Once again, breathe in, breathe out. The arms come forward, touching one finger at a time into praying hands. Arms drop. Once again, breathe in. <sighs> breathe out. One at a time. Okay, from here, we can put our hands together just underneath our belly button. We're gonna take a moment to settle, to, you know, to thank ourselves for moving today getting in some exercise to working on this new journey of healing. So Qigong is such a great healing tool. And as we go throughout the weeks, we're gonna increase with um, our exercise each time. So we're gonna add more to our toolbox and eventually we'll be doing a full, full series of Qigong. It's called Iron Shirt Qigong. Um, I have learned from Master Z at the Dharma Health Institute and we do have a web page that you can come to and visit us there. We have a weekly podcast that I encourage you all to listen to. And I will see you again next week. So have a great day and um, stay safe out there.